Hello YouTube, Kentucky Prepper here. It's been years since I've posted anything, but I finally got out of the apartments and I have a little half an acre homestead that I'm trying to, to work on. And so today's project is going to be rainwater harvesting off a garage. We have an extra garage, I like to call it the barn. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this, put a first flush system in, and then have it come on over into a 275 gallon IBC tote. So um, this is the before. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, my first step is going to be taking the plastic bin out of the cage. After I take it out of the cage, I'm going to wrap it with something called Panda Film. I've seen it on YouTube where a lot of people use all black, thick uh, plastic wrapping to uh, make sure algae doesn't grow on the inside, but I found some stuff online called Panda Film, and it's white on one side and black on the inside, so um, hopefully I can use this and it not get hot. So let's get started. So I use this star drill bit. That's not a drill bit, it's like a screw bit, I guess. Um, so it had four screws, and then there were two bars that came up uh, one here actually it's one here and then one here screwed them out and then the next thing I'm gonna do is just take it out this is the stuff I purchased it off of Amazon um, happy hydro 7 mil polyfilm um, well that's what it's called um, well, it says 90% light reflection, so that's on the, the white side. And 100% light proof, which is what I'm looking for. So hopefully this won't heat things up. I got it off Amazon and unfortunately made in China. I couldn't find any made in USA counterparts. Anyway, here we go. Again, sorry for the noise. People are mowing, first nice day out. So I put the uh, black film down and uh, it is 16 feet long. I measured that I needed 14 feet. Uh, when I bought this stuff, it said it was gonna be 10 feet wide. It was actually almost three inches short of that, so shame on them for that. Um, still enough, I have enough for what I need. So I'm gonna use, uh, wrap it like a Christmas present, and I'm going to attach it to the tote with some Gorilla tape, some duct tape. So um, yeah, here I go. All right, well, uh, tape the other side. So now I'm gonna have to do the sides and we're just going to wrap this up like a birthday present. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, so I uh, finished wrapping it. I put on the, uh, the duct tape at all the seams where I felt like it needed. Um, the duct tape didn't really stick as well as I wanted it to. The plastic to plastic, it stuck extremely well to the actual tote. Um, I think that's going to turn out okay because when I put it into the cage again, it was quite a tight fit. Um, unfortunately, so tight of a fit that I did get a couple of holes in it, and uh, you know, a small hole is going to make a big difference. But uh, you might be able to see some of them over there. Um, just tiny little little things. Um, so I just covered it up with some tape. Um, one problem that I encountered, and I should have uh, been a little bit more aware of that, is I did it on this rough concrete as opposed to this very smooth, um, smoothed out surface right here. So something that I should have done. A uh, thing that I didn't think about was, well, um, at the top, hey, there's the cap right there, and I'm going to have to cut a hole out of the cap. And so hopefully I don't have more exposure to to, the, to light by the time I do that. Let me go around and find. All right, it's a little dark, but you don't have to deal with it. Right here, I um, did have to cut a little bit around the the spout. Um, not bad at all. Anticipate doing that anyway. And just use some black tape to um, cover up the areas. But 
um, as you can see, um, you are going to see the you are going to see the black tape. Right, so you're not going to have that super clean clean look. Um, well, I imagine you can get white tape on um, this day and age of some Gorilla Tape and wouldn't have to have that problem. You paint and do whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to let it be. Um, my concern was to not have my water real hot. I wanted to keep it cool. Okay, so well, got the hole through. Just cut a line straight through and put it down, tape the edges. And so this will come on and get this squared away. And that on. Eventually going to cut a um, two inch hole right here. Um, don't have a gasket currently, but I'm gonna put a gasket there also. Uh, so I put in my PVC pipe. So uh, I did that, stuck my head in to see if any light's coming through, and indeed light is coming through. Uh, when I got the plastic inside of the this metal uh, protecting grating, um, it scratched it up some. Um, probably should have done it on a little bit smoother concrete. But uh, so. I just taped it up with any black tape around the edges. However, if you stick your head inside, what you're going to notice, I'm going to move you here, you're still going to get light from the nozzle. Uh, you're going to get light coming from this. It's, it's just, it's going to happen, guys. Um, I could spray paint it black. I'm not going to do it. Um, but this is what I did, and light does come through there if you stick your head in that dark hole. Another thing, um, this was not a typical two inch thread like I anticipated. Um, so what I'm going to eventually do is find out what thread that is. If you know, please leave a comment down below. Um, but it's just, it's a different kind of thread. It's not something I found at Lowe's. So I'm going to have to figure that out and get it connected to a garden hose because that's the purpose of this is to get a cheap, abundant, water from our garden. Anyway, uh, next thing I'm going to do is start measuring out all the uh, next thing I'm going to do is measure out all the plumbing that I need. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll show you the plans that I designed. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but these are the plans that I designed based upon some stuff that I saw. Um, LDS Prepper was a really good playlist of some uh, rainwater harvesting that he did. So I have a um, little filter. I'm going to end up putting a finer mesh screen in here. It's going to connect down from a 4 inch to a 2 inch conversion. Now I'm going to have a length of pipe. I hadn't decided what that is. It's going to come down to a, um, a T adapter. And this size will be my first flush. So first flush is supposedly supposed to get all of the the gunky poopy water that might be on the roof and hopefully any of the uh, shingle asphalt that's coming in unfortunately i don't have a metal roof but i'm working with what i got so i'm going to have a length of the two inch and then it's going to be converted again up to the four inch come down to an elbow and i'm going to use a screw pipe to um, drain it clean it out and so up here while it's still the two inch it's going to come over to a t-pipe and then the um, the t-pipe is going to connect to a two inch thread or a two inch pipe and uh, it's going to connect to the water the water tanks going here then i want to have a overflow um, so the overflow is going to come up come on over to another elbow so we got elbow pipe elbow and then I'm going to have a tube that's going to go to the ground with another elbow. And I'm going to cover it with a screen or uh, something so critters don't get up there. But anyway, this is, this is the plan. This is what I think is going to work. And we'll see uh, as I do it um, what I'm going to need. So um, check back with you once I figure this out. All right, so I changed the location where I'm going to put the tow. I put it on the opposite end of the garage. I'm just a little bit higher up, so hopefully I can use gravity to... To water the garden a little bit better um, just kind of show you where the garden is in perspective to the water totes right there so 
It's a new garden, new property. I guess we're gonna be planting it out and hopefully I can run a garden hose down there and let gravity feed all that over here. But, okay, so what I'm gonna end up doing, take down this uh, water spout and uh, replace it with the PVC. So I guess I'll show a few images of that after I get it going, all right. All right, and uh, this is about the finished product. Let's see. There's a uh, little pre-filter that I put some fine mesh in. And there's a four inch to a two inch. And then that comes down to a T. What's gonna happen first is uh, that T is going to turn a 2 inch tube into a 4 inch, that little coupler right there, 4 inch PVC. And then at the bottom, I have a little turn screw. I think I'm going to eventually get a 90 degree elbow. Because uh, right now it's just sitting up on a block and I don't have to keep moving that, but that's what I got right now. So if I go back up, you can see here, all right, that T comes up. I'll go ahead and I'll bring you over there. All right, so that T comes up, comes over, and then there's another T, and the first one comes down into the tote. And then as that gets full, it should overflow over here, down into this little two inch elbow. And so I'm going to cover that up with a screen so no critters get up there. But uh, that's what I got. So what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. And so one of my things that I had to work with was this came in at an elbow. I should have had it come or it came in at an angle I should say. What I should have done is had it come straight over and straight down. But I just don't have those supplies. And uh, because I don't have those supplies this is what I did. And it comes out at a weird angle, but I measured it out. It's good enough for now. But anyway, this is uh, so far my rainwater harvesting system. It hasn't been glued yet, so what I'm going to do is I rinse, rinse it out all well. Um, let it work unglued to see what happens, and then after I get it to how I finally want it, then I'll I'll correct it, but the thing I don't like about it most is this little system right here. Um, it's what they had at Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. And uh, it's cheap, crappy plastic. Um, it's called Flex Grate. But you can see in there that I did put a uh, finer filter. But that's what I did. And I'm gonna secure it much better than it currently is. And I had to put some screws up here um, and kind of screwed it into. There's like some nipples on the side of this machine, but I screwed it into that. Anyway, um, this is how I did it. Um, Maybe you could have done better. Probably could have, but this is what I did. All right, um, signing off, Kentucky Prepper. Love God. Love your family. Help out some people. <laughs>